Hello, and in today's video, we're going to continue the Enterprise series by covering how to create linear routes. Linear routes are a special kind of mapping mission that is designed for narrow bands that change direction, such as rivers, pipelines, roads, and power lines. There are several options for creating these. You can create them on the controller directly by tapping on the screen. You can create a path in Google Earth and import that, or you can fly above the path that you need to create and create from that. At the time of making this video, you cannot create these in Flight Hub 2, but there is a placeholder for it. So I assume that this is something that is going to be coming in the future. I'll briefly touch on each of the available methods here, but I want to pay special attention to the method of creating by flying above the route. So let's get to it. First, I'll show you how to create linear routes using the screen. Start by opening Pilot 2 and going into the Flight Route area. Click on the plus sign and select Linear Route, and then select Set Waypoints. In this mode, you don't need to have the drone connected, just an internet connection to view the maps, so that you can do this anywhere. Now simply tap on the map to create the band. If you make a mistake, you can delete path markers using the garbage can, or you can move them by pressing on them and moving them, although I found this a bit hit or miss. You can also insert new markers in the middle of areas by clicking on the line. This can help smooth out bends. Once you have the path marked out, click on the blue check mark to create the flight route. Choose if you want a zigzag path or a single line. The zigzag path is wider and captures more of the area. Then press the blue check mark again. You'll be asked for the type of drone and the camera, and given the ability to change any other parameters, such as the ground sampling distance, the altitude, and whether the path should go parallel or vertical to the center line. Put those details in and the flight path will be created. Click Save, and you're ready to fly the mission. Now let's quickly show how to do this using Google Earth. Open Google Earth and create a path. Note that normally for maps, you create a polygon, but not in this case. In this case, you need a path. Click to create the path, give it a name, save, and then export as a KML or KMZ. I prefer KML because it remembers the name when you create the path on the mission controller. Copy it to the controller and then open Pilot 2. Open the Flight Route Library, click on the plus sign and select Import KML. Locate the file and then select Linear Route. The mission is created immediately and saved, but you'll need to go into that mission to set up the parameters such as the camera, GSD, etc. Expand the name, select Edit, make any changes needed before saving, and again, you're now ready to go and run this. Finally, let's talk about the special case of live mission recording. This is great for doing things like power line inspections because it allows you to fly exactly the route, specify how far above the route you want to fly, and then fly it. A couple of things to remember. To do this, you will need an RTK module connected. It won't start without that. Assuming you have the RTK all set up, start the Pilot 2 app, go into the Flight Route Library, click on the plus sign, and select Create a Route. Select Linear Route, and then select Live Mission Record. If it's your first time doing this, some instructions will be put on the screen describing how to create a linear flight. Now fly above the route you want to capture, and at points along the route, press the C1 button to add waypoints. Add waypoints. If you make a mistake, you can press the C2 button to delete a waypoint. The controller will confirm that you have added each waypoint. Once you've finished, click the Save icon in the top left. The flight mission will be saved and created, and you can view the flight path by expanding the map area. As before, you can edit the mission to make any adjustments, but I want you to pay special attention to the flight route to surface target. This is what's being used to calculate the GSD, the overlaps, etc. But it assumes that when you were flying, you were right on top of the object being captured. 
so it will add this to the altitude the drone was at the time of setting the markers. In this case, it will add 82 feet. Now you can fly the mission to capture the data along the path. When I set the first marker, I was at 172 feet, and so the drone will start the capture at 255 feet, and then adjust as it flies along to remain 82 feet above the capture point. Allow the drone to finish capturing, download the files, process them in your favorite mapping software. There's a lot more to this depending on the changes you make in the parameters, but this should allow you to get out and capture a few winding paths. And that's it. As always, I love to hear from you, so feel free to leave a comment. Don't forget to subscribe, and I will see you in the next video.